Hey everybody, welcome to the Wild Duck Way. I'm Jessica, and today's video is going to be our May morning basket. We are actually supposed to be at Walt Disney World Hollywood Studios as you're watching this, celebrating all of the amazing things that it has to offer in Star Wars land. Now we've been there before, but we had planned this vacation with five amazing days set aside to do all of the Star Wars things. Meet the characters, explore the land, eat the food, watch the shows, ride the rides. So to say that we were disappointed is an understatement. Luckily, Emily quickly recovered with an amazing idea that we could just do Star Wars school. Since it is the end of the school year and the only thing we are guaranteed to get done is our morning basket, it was a no-brainer that our May morning basket had to be Star Wars themed. Now, if you are not a Star Wars lover, I apologize, but I will put links in the description box down below where you can see tons of other morning basket themes that may be more up your alley. If you are a Star Wars lover, stay tuned because I have amazing things and even a giveaway at the end. The first thing in our morning basket is our devotion. We absolutely love Indescribable and How Great Is Our God by Louis Giglio. These are amazing. Our plan is to use both of these this month and to just do the space devotions. Luckily, they make that very easy by giving you the page numbers to each of the different topics such as space, earth, animals, and people. So we will go through indescribable space and then we will go through how great is our God now in case you have never seen inside these before which means you've never seen any of my videos because I'm always bragging about them each devotion is a very short sweet to the point and includes science you have your Bible verse your summary and then a prayer and a little science fact in each one Emily absolutely loves Mad Libs, so of course I had to get the Star Wars Mad Libs. This one includes stories from all six of the original films, which is amazing if you have a Star Wars lover who's seen all of them. Um, this is a good place to start. For read alouds, the first thing we're going to be reading through is the Who is George Lucas. I have a Who was or Who is George Lucas mini unit study in my shop that we will also be doing, and you can grab yours and do it along with us if you'd like. We will also be reading five minute Star Wars stories. This is one that we actually had in the house already, and I thought, you know, this is a really good time to make sure we're reading through some of these books that we already own since the library is closed and we can't get any more. So we will be reading one of these little five-minute stories a day. And then we will also be reading through the Star Wars character encyclopedia. Now, this is one that I actually bought for Emily because she had the idea to make a Star Wars character book of her own. So I will be offering a free character sheet printable that will be for subscribers in my um, subscriber freebie library. So we will just be reading one to three characters a day depending on how much she wants to read. And then she will choose however many she would like at the end to do um, her character sheet on. I'm not sure what all we're going to include. She hasn't told me yet, but I will keep you guys updated with that. For music, we will be using Squilt Goes to the Movies. This is an amazing resource. The Squilt Goes to the Movies is only available to Squilt members, so if you are not a member, you will not be able to get this in the shop. However, you can get the May listening calendar, which also happens to be music from the movies. This is what a listening calendar looks like. It is the entire month of May, and each day it gives you a different piece of music to listen to and it is a clickable link so you can just click and listen to the music from the movies. We will be doing that as well as lesson <coughs> excuse me as well as lesson three from the Squilt Goes to the Movies, which is the theme from Star Wars by John Williams. So we will be enjoying this and diving into some of the Star Wars music using Squilt. 
Now, I don't have anything to show you guys because we don't have any yet because we haven't done it, but for art, we will be using chalk pastel. There are some amazing free art tutorials using um, chalks and acrylics, and they are just out of this world. They're all Star Wars. Trisha and her family absolutely love Star Wars, so they have some amazing lessons. I will be linking that in the blog post, so make sure you head over there so that you don't miss that, especially if you have a Star Wars lover who maybe isn't a fan of art. This is a great way to sneak them in. Now, because I knew that this was going to be the bulk of our school, I did go ahead and grab the Star Wars workbooks for second grade. I thought this would be a really fun way to wrap up our school year and also kind of see if there was any areas that Emily was lacking that we need to work a little more on. So we have the second grade reading, second grade writing, and second grade math. Now, I don't know whether we'll get through these in their entirety. I don't really have a specific plan. We're just going to do whatever she feels like doing. These are by the editors of BrainQuest, and they are Common Core aligned. I'm just going to show you a few of the activities. They do also have the answers in the back. I already looked that up. So if you need answers, they are there. They already have those amazing characters your child probably loves, and they are in full color. So that was the reading. We will take a little peek at the writing. Emily saw the cursive, and she's very excited about that. She's been asking me to learn cursive for a while. And the math. I have to say, I glanced through the math and I was actually kind of impressed at how much math they managed to get into um, this small workbook and how many different activities there are. You're never repeating the same thing twice, so that was kind of fun. Now, for Emily to do while we are reading aloud or while I'm reading aloud or while we're listening to music, I put together kind of a little activity book. I got a Star Wars bundle from Rock Your Homeschool. And it included a lot of different things. So I just made her a small book. In here we have the coloring sheets of all of the different characters. There were quite a few different mazes. And then there are some grid art, which I love that it included some art um, and math with the grids. And there are tons of those. So I put all those into a little um, binding for her. And so she can just pull that out and work on whatever she wants whenever she wants to do that. I also printed out some of these free um, Lego cards from Frugal Fun with Boys. So it has all these different characters so she can pull her Legos out and make mosaics of those. And then I also got her the Star Wars Lego Ideas book. Um, I actually got this for her after we watched the Star Wars episode on Lego Masters and she hasn't seen it yet so she's going to be so excited because she's been wanting to do some more complicated builds after watching that episode and there are some really cool ones in here. So I think she's really going to love that. Now, for games, I have a bingo game that I got from the Rock Your Homeschool bundle. So this was included in that bundle that I got. So it's just a bingo game. She also gives you directions on how to play a few other games with this as well, like memory. And we also have a game called Star Wars Duels. We actually love this game, and I love that it sneaks in a little bit of math, too. So it plays very similar to War, um, except you can lay down more than one card. So, for instance, because these guys are on the same team, same color, and they have the same symbol, you can partner them together and lay them down, and your number would be 12. Um, same thing here. You could put these three down, and your number would be 14. So whoever laid those down would win and get all of the cards. I love that it's fast-paced. It has the characters from the movie. Um, it includes the new characters too. You can see there's Ray, which is Emily's favorite. So it's just a fun, quick paced game. Um, and it also kind of sneaks into the math, like I said. So it's one of our favorites. We actually play that quite frequently. And then the other game we have that's also going to be our trivia is Pictopia, the ultimate picture trivia family game. 
we love these we have the disney one and the harry potter one they are amazing um we are not going to we probably are not going to play the full game during morning time um, especially since it would just be me and Emily. What we are more likely to do is use these cards similar to a Professor Noggin type of thing, meaning I would pull a card. Um, if she can answer it correctly, she would keep it. If she answers it wrong, she doesn't. And then whoever has the most cards at the end would win. So what I love is that these are the same images as the movies, which is what she's the most familiar with. And you would hold it up so she would or the other players would be looking at the pictures and you ask the question. So which one of these characters protects Count Duco from a Jedi attacker? And then they would just say A, B, C, or D. You normally would use these cute little dials to select A, B, C, or D um, so that other people couldn't tell what your answers were. And you would play as a group like more than two people. Um, so that is the way you would actually play, but we're gonna use it more like a professor noggin so that we don't have to set the whole game up. And so it plays a little faster, but that's going to be our trivia during morning time. <clears throat> the giveaway today is for who is George Lucas mini unit study. All you have to do to enter to win is be a subscriber like this video and leave a comment down below.